Dark energy crystal prices continue to fall. And if you are worried that they're gonna fall even further, you might want to implement the strategy of buying credits. Today, let's talk about why you'd use this strategy. Hello everyone, hola, how are you guys doing? Kamusta is good to see you all here today. My name is Luke and I play to earn and help you guys as small investors, small earners to hopefully earn more. And today we're talking about DEC from Splinterlands because we've seen the price fall and fall and really we've seen the whole market of crypto fall and fall. So it's not just a DEC thing, but I think it has a lot of people worried. We're seeing the loss of our value. Remember at one point when it was spiking up like crazy, the DEC was almost a cent and a half. And now we are seeing it more closely to about half a cent per DEC. Now, perhaps this video is a little too late as the price has already fallen a lot, but I do want to just throw this out there for those that maybe who aren't thinking about this, that one thing that you can do with your DEC that you are earning is to go up here. You can click on the plus button, the credits, and you can now convert your crypto, including dark energies and buy up credits with your DEC. Now, the reason that you would do this is if you think the DEC price is going to continue to fall because for Splinterlands, if you have credits, 1000 credits will always equal $1. So essentially it's a stable coin that you can use within the game. Of course, it's not a stable coin that you can use for anything else. If you buy up credits, you're going to have to spend them, uh, you know, for things like packs or buying up cards. You can't use them outside of the game. But if you're just trying to, you know, save some of the value inside of Splinterlands, this is almost acting as a stable coin because even if the market continues to go down, DEC or SPS, you will always have a thousand credits equals one dollar. And so this is valuable because let's say that the whole DEC tanks, let's say car prices tanks and you have credits, well then your credits are going to hold their value of 1000 to $1, meaning that you can use that to buy up more cards or buy up more packs. Uh, the only thing that, of course, would be worrying if the game completely goes bankrupt and zero, then, you know, you're not going to have credits to be used for really anything. But, uh, you know, that's... That's probably not a likely scenario, at least in the short term, uh, maybe ever. Uh, so I think using credits as a stable coin could be a good idea if you're worried about DEC continuing to tank. Now, of course, a reason you wouldn't want to do this is because right now with the airdrop, you have what almost, uh, you know, 200 days still left in the airdrop for SPS. So all this DEC, if you convert it into credits, you're going to have less airdrop points and you're going to be earning less SPS right now. So you might be losing airdrop points. So that is definitely a reason to hold your DEC instead of converting it to credits. But what if you're like, man, I have 20,000 DEC that I was hoping to use for packs anyways, once we hit the general sale in about a month or so. Well, then you might be worried that DEC within that month will continue to go down. So actually putting it into credits now might be a safer option. Now, I'm no technical analysis expert, so please don't take my advice if I think DEC price is going to continue up or down. I would highly recommend going watching Crypto Llama as he is actually a trader who plays Splinterlands and does great analysis on DEC and SPS. I would ask Chris Crypto Llama and uh, Crypto Llama will be able to give you a way better opinion on the price action of DEC. However, I do want to give you guys a couple thoughts as we think about the price of DEC. So of course, most of you know this, but if you don't know this, DEC is actually supposed to be pegged to, to where the value is way back here in June, which is about 1000 DEC equals a dollar, or each DEC is a 10th of a cent. Then of course, you can see over the last three months with Splinterlands exploding in growth, with them implementing the airdrop, which DEC gives you one point for each you know, SPS airdrop point, that has been a huge thing. And people are like, oh, well, I'm just going to get a bunch of DEC, hold it, buy up more DEC because I'm getting a ton of SPS airdropped for free from that. And you see prices have spiked even to, again, as I said earlier, about 1.5 cents per DEC. And now it's fallen all the way back down to about half of cent. So as you think about DEC, it is designed to be about a tenth of a cent per DEC. So this is a soft peg, which means it's not 
you know, stuck at, you know, a tenth of a cent per DEC. But what the game does is that as DEC price goes up, they give out more DEC as you play to earn because they're trying to increase the supply, which when you increase the supply, if it doesn't meet demand anymore, then price will start to fall. Now, if the DEC price goes under a tenth of a cent, then they would be giving out even less DEC because then there'd be less supply. And then that would, in theory, push up the demand, push up the price of DEC. So when you're thinking about the DEC price, even when it's come down this low, it's still about 5x from where the soft peg is. So that would be one reason to potentially worry about the DEC price going even lower. However, maybe this isn't the time to convert your DEC to credits. Maybe if you're into TA and you're like, well, you know, we just came off a huge crushing blow to DEC price. Maybe it's, you know, expected to have some kind of bounce and maybe we get a price point, you know, back up to the next resistance of, you know, 0.009 DEC. And maybe you should wait till then to convert your DEC into credits. Uh, you also maybe could think about, you know, the support it might have, you know, we came up here and came back down to 0.004. So maybe it'll drop a little bit even further and then bounce off that support. But again, remember the soft peg is supposed to be 0.001 DEC. So again, I'm not a TA kind of guy. I would ask Crypto Llama. I'm not trying to give a price prediction. I'm just trying to get you guys to think about where the price may go so that if you are indeed worried about it, you can uh, convert some of your DEC into credits if you're not worried about the airdrop. If you are concerned with the airdrop and you want to get more SPS airdrop, actually this might be a great opportunity to do something like buy up more DEC so that you can even have more airdrop points because this is the cheapest DEC has been in a while. If you're like me and you're like, man, I have no idea is DEC gonna go up, down, I'm a little bit concerned with it continuing to lose value, you can buy up a little credits here and then a little credits there. Wait a little bit and see what the price happens. And that way you're kind of just, you know, you're playing both sides. You're putting in a little here. And if you see a pump, maybe it pumps back up to, you know, 0.008 here. And you're like, oh, this is a nice point, you know, of uh, resistance. This might be as high as it gets. Let's put a little more into credits. Or if it continues to go up after that, a little more. Uh, so you can kind of, you know, just watch it and play it as it goes. Instead of, you know, converting all your DEC currently right now into credits, you can kind of, you know, do a little bit here, a little bit of there when you're feeling like it. And then that way, if it goes up or down, you're kind of playing both sides and not committing too hard to one way or the other. I did end up doing a poll on YouTube just to kind of see where you guys at as the community. We have a third of people kind of guessing it'll go back up, 50% likely to fall and 20% probably stay around where it is. So a lot more people are thinking that it's going to fall than it is going to go back up. I would love to continue to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments though. What are you guys doing? Are you guys afraid of the DEC price continuing to fall? Are you doing something like putting it into credits so that uh, you can have some kind of stable coin within the game? Are you actually buying more DEC now the price is tanked so that you can get more SPS airdrop points? You know, what is your current strategy with the DEC price going down? Where do you think it will go from here? I love your thoughts. Again, I am no genius on technical analysis, so I wanna hear from you guys. And let's continue to talk in the comments below and learn from the strategies of one another. That's it for today's video. Peace out, adios, pa'alam, and I'll see you guys next time.